David Lazar travels to the furthest corners of this earth to capture intriguing portraits of indigenous people. And he's here with us today to share three of his favorite images. Um, welcome, David. Hello, Marika. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm really curious what you have to share with us today. Uh, I've chosen three of my favorite photos, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about them for you. Great, great. And you're number one? I've chosen uh, three fishermen on Inle Lake. And what's interesting about this photo is the fishermen use one leg to control the boat. So I've never seen that anywhere else in the world. Um, so I think it makes very, very interesting subject matter. And how did you get them so neatly arranged in one line? Well, what I did was I organized it, uh, paid them a bit of money for their time. And so I've arranged them to be in this position that you see in the photo. And I've told them where to look. I've told them to look up to the sun. And I've also chosen a time of day to do it where the light's flattering, and that's early morning. So this is just at sunrise I've taken this photo. You were in a boat yourself as well? Yeah, I was actually, yes. I was in a, a little boat just like the ones they're standing in, very wobbly and just crouching down and trying to get the angle right and the arrangement of the three of them. And I had someone to help translate for me as I was asking them where to position uh, the, the boatman. So it was, all, it was all set up, but hopefully in a way that looks quite natural in the end. And people don't think about that aspect, that it's a set up photo. And a second picture? I was in uh, Kenya and I went to the Maasai Mara and I uh, visited the Maasai tribes people. And so once again, I also I had a meeting with the village chief and I asked if I could take a group of Maasai people in a safari vehicle around the landscape and take some photos of them, once again, arranged as, as I envisioned the picture in my mind. So I, I sort of imagine the photo, I find the background and then I put the people in it and tell them where to look and perhaps what expression to have on their face. Cool, and people understand what you mean? I mean, not really language-wise, but more that what you want to do with this picture? Um, I think they do. They just follow the directions. I have a translator there, and I think they can perhaps envision it. But even if they can't, they, I think they trust me as a photographer. Um, if the photographer has confidence and, and moves quickly and is relaxed, I think that people are happy to just follow along, and they'll trust that that you'll make them look good in, their photo, in, the, in the photo. Cool, and you have a third picture with his, my personal favorite. Um, could you tell us about that one? This is a photo of a boy in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, and he's got very green eyes. And I was, in, I was, I was invited to visit a community center in Sao Paulo called Beja Flor, and we did a face painting activity, and we, uh, a man called Watson Silva painted his face. And... It's the color of his eyes, so he's got green face paint and I've positioned him near some green leaves. So that's what makes the photo very effective, I think, is the colors of, of green running throughout the photo. Cool. Thank you, David, for joining us today. And if you guys at home want to learn more about culture photography and how David works, uh, make sure to read the article below.